Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Jim Hovland, uh, your Edina Mayor, and this is the Mayor's Minute for Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. I put the old suit and tie on today because we had a chamber meeting at noon and we did the uh, Shark Tank for the kids at the high school. We had three contestants. It was really a, a delightful event. And then uh, the Teacher of the Year Award was given out as well uh, to Brianna Carlson, who is a fourth grade teacher over at Countryside and just a wonderful uh, teacher, uh, a glowing recommendation from some of the parents and it was really fun to see her get the award. She had her parents there with her who live over in Woodbury. And it sounds like she's just a fantastic teacher for all the kids that uh, uh, are blessed to have her in our system over at Countryside. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, COVID-19 vaccination card. And I think all of you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's this thing. I've got mine now and it's filled in because I'm more than two weeks clear of the second vaccination. And this uh, COVID-19 vaccination card is likely to be very important uh, in the months ahead, especially when you're traveling. And travel executives have already said that they believe uh, people will need to show their card in the future to fly. And it's possible some employers or some organizing programs may ask for proof of vaccination. And so you're going to have to show them this card. And uh, my wife was smart enough last night to tell me to get this thing copied. We did that. And uh, otherwise, I'm just carrying it around in my pocket and hopefully not losing it. So I'm glad I got a copy of it. And, you know, some colleges, I think, including I saw a program on Rutgers this morning, Rutgers University is requiring uh, vaccinations before students return to campus. And I'm sure many other colleges will follow suit. Uh, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention is recommending you take a photo of the front and the back of your card as a backup record, just like uh, my wife did last night. Uh, and, um, you know, some of the some of the people that have been vaccinated have lost these cards and are going back to the clinics. Uh, no one is issuing a blank card uh, and few of the vaccinators will give you a duplicate card if you lose it. But you shouldn't worry because we've got a program in place to deal with that at the, at the state level. And because your vaccination was recorded and reported to the Minnesota Immunization Information Connection, or as it's called, uh, the acronym MIC. You can request your vaccination record from the state. Mix an immunization information system that combines a person's immunizations into a single record, even if they were given by different healthcare providers. So that information is at the state of Minnesota. So again, I tell you, uh, make sure if it's possible, uh, photocopy this card uh, after you get home from your second vaccination. If you lose it, uh, and the photo won't, won't suffice for the purposes intended, then contact MIC if you need a record of it uh, or any other vaccination. We've got information on MIC on the screen. Uh, you can also visit bit.ly slash get vaccine record or call 651-201-3980. That's 651-201-3980, and you can get a... Uh, uh, replacement vaccination record card, and I'm sure you're going to need it in the future, so make sure that you have it. This is Jim Hovland. That's your Mayor's Minute for Wednesday, April 14th, 2021. Stay strong. We're going to get through this together, so best to all of you, and we'll see you soon.